Do you take every client you have through relaxation exercises? So SLTs, speech and language therapists, um, speech pathologists as they're called in um, America and Australia, um, would, would very often do a relaxation type approach to many clients with voice. Um, and again, for me, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a rare occurrence that I would do that, which will surprise lots of people. It's not to say that I never do it, but I use it for the people who really need it. Right. And um, for me, voice generally is quite an active, energised phenomena, voicing. As I'm speaking to you now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling tense, but I'm not in kind of a very relaxed state of being sure. kind of a bit switched off and a bit laid back, because generally those kind of states don't have very energizing um, effects on voice clarity. Mm -hmm. If you think of your voice when you get up in the morning, it's not your best voice. Yeah. So I don't want to get people to the state of that level of relaxation. Of course, if people have a lot of anxiety, at some point, some relaxation might feature in the, in the overall treatment. But um, generally, I don't work on um, relaxation with the majority of clients, only if they specifically need it. I feel more about opening the laryngeal space and energising the voice because right. I think that af that affects voice clarity. And talking, part of our training is to do talking therapies. You know, we, we all do a component of counselling in our training and in a way that's like a talking therapy as, as well as doing um, specific voice exercises which also addresses things like lifestyle and anxiety. Um, because relaxation will make people feel better. It will definitely help relieve attempt, but it's a very temporary thing. It's yeah. a bit like having massages, how they make you feel good and it does relax the muscles, but eventually you want somebody to own the, the postures and the, and the movements that are creating that tension. Mm -hmm. um, but, and, and so relaxation would be one tool in the box, but not necessarily a starting point for me or the most frequent yeah. thing I do. Because I suppose, I guess what you're saying is that, yes, you can, relax but if you've got bad habits that are going to create that sort of tension yeah. no matter of relaxing is going to get rid of those habits so you're just going to be going in a vicious cycle yeah we normally I, well i tend to go a bit deeper than that and get into the habit in the first place or right. get into the lifestyle issues in the first place um but you know as, as a starting point or as a kind of a a, a one tool in the box i might do a, a progressive relaxation with some people right.